Lift is created by the force of air moving very fast across the wings of a plane. Look closely and you can see that the wings have a special shape, curved on top and flatter on the bottom. This is called an airfoil. As air moves across the wings, lift is created. Here's how it works. When air moves across the wings, some of the air goes over the wing and some goes under. Because of the airfoil shape, the air that moves over the wings travels faster than the air that moves under the wings. Now it's time for an important rule. Slower moving air pushes harder than faster moving air. So the slower air underneath pushes up on the plane. When this force is strong enough to overcome the force of gravity, the airplane is picked up off the ground, lift. So now you know that lift is the force that gets an airplane off the ground. Still seems hard to believe, right? Well here are a couple of experiments you can do that will prove that moving air creates lift. For both of these you'll need a blow dryer, set on cool, not hot. First, get a nice flat sheet of paper and lay it on a tabletop. But let about half of the sheet hang over the edge. See how it droops down? Tape the other end to the table. Now take your blow dryer and point it sideways away from the table over the hanging piece of paper. Turn the blower on low and watch what happens to the paper. It actually rises up. Now try the blower on high. What happens? It rises even more. Do you know why? Remember what we said about lift that air moving faster doesn't push as hard as air moving slower. Think of the paper as an airplane wing. If the air above the wing is moving faster than the air below, the wing will rise upward and we have lift. When the air on one side of an object is moving faster than the air on the other side, the object will move toward the faster moving air. How do we know? Because you just proved it. <laughs>